Greetings from the Church of the Divine Mercy, Shah Alam, Malaysia. Welcome to the Novena to the Divine Mercy. Today, bring to me all mankind, especially all sinners, and immerse them in the ocean of my mercy. In this way, you will console me in the bitter grief into which the loss of souls plunges me. Most merciful Jesus, whose very nature it is to have compassion on us and to forgive us, do not look upon our sins, but upon our trust which we place in your infinite goodness. Receive us all into the abode of your most compassionate heart and never let us escape from it. We beg this of you by your love, which unites you to the Father and the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon all mankind, and especially upon poor sinners, all enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, show us your mercy, that we may praise the omnipotence of your mercy forever and ever. Amen. St. Faustina Diary, 1074 God is love and mercy itself. When a soul approaches me with trust, I fill it with such an abundance of graces that it cannot contain them within itself, but radiates them to other souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Faustina's Diary, 1184-1512 Meditating on his holy wounds make us realize that our suffering seems so small. And so, in this meditative chaplet to the Divine Mercy, we call to mind the words that Jesus said to St. Faustina. When it seems to you that suffering exceeds your strength, contemplate my wounds. Together, you expired, Jesus, 
but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Eternal Father, I offer you
The Second Sorrowful Mystery The Scourging at the Pillar Eternal Father I offer you The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity.
The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Eternal Father, I offer you The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord.
The love of God is the flower, mercy the fruit. Let the doubting soul read these considerations on divine mercy and become trusting. Our response is, I trust in you. Which we 
Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. O oh, greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O oh God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this world's exiles. O oh Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our lives and deaths are. Let the omnipotence of your mercy Shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming, that day known to you alone, and we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Prayer of Thanksgiving. O oh Jesus, eternal God, I thank you for your countless graces and blessings. Let every beat of my heart be a new hymn of thanksgiving to you, O oh God. Let every drop of my blood circulate for you, Lord. My soul is one hymn in adoration of your mercy. I love you, God for yourself alone. Final acclamation, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, Jesus King, King of mercy, mercy I, I trust in you. you. Saint Faustina, pray, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray, pray for us. us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.